All right, for many of us, it's difficult to visualize the fiscal cliff. What does that actually mean? And the economic uncertainty that lies ahead, and that's because that's what the fiscal cliff actually means. Mm -hmm. So artist and painter Tom Christopher is here to offer his unique vision of the state of the nation. Good morning to you. Good morning. So when you think of the fiscal cliff, suddenly an image comes to mind that you want to paint? It, it actually worked backwards. I was painting all these flowing pictures of New York and I came up with this the other day. It's just a lamppost right in the dead center of the canvas, it, just cutting the flow of things. And it's, it, it's like the patrons, the collectors have frozen up. They're terrified of whatever the fiscal cliff is. I'm not even sure what it is, but everybody hears the word and they're just terrified. And I need them, the collectors and the wealthy to get feeling better about themselves. But the you're a small business guy. You know how it feels. You know what it means. Uh, what does it mean to you? The fiscal cliff? It just sounds horrible. It just <laughs> it sounds like things are locking up yeah. and we're going to fall off a cliff. And it's going to be like 19, was it 2007 or 8 when things froze up? We had five years of a horrible recession. We're just all slowly sure. pulling out and then we get slammed with taxes. So you, know, you know, Tom, so many people have thought of the cliff. I guess it's the imagery of Thelma and Louise, you know, in that car <laughs> shooting out there like right. that. But you're suggesting that as an artist, you see the right. fiscal cliff as an immobile something in front of all of us. And unless we go around it somehow yeah. in the next uh, couple of weeks, yeah. we're just going to be stopped right here looking at it. This is killing us. I mean, th this is a, a, a guy I painted the other day. He's a college student smoking a, you know, coffin nails. He's texting. He's just looking around. There's nothing to do. He's out of work. He probably has a master's degree, and he's waiting for the phone call. You, you got a guy on a bike. Yeah, I'm working on the guy on the bike. I love those guys on bikes, but they're not moving. Mm. It's stationary. This is a symbol from an old sailor's uh, tattoo book. It's a split-tailed swallow. And right here, you got, it looks like a devil to me. Who is that on Capitol Hill, that, that, that <laughs> devil character? I'm going to stay neutral there. But they're up there. <laughs> Throw so a rock who, in any so direction. So who are you going to fill in in the lower left corner? Because we're going to come back to you later in the show. You are, yeah, and I hope I have some. It's like one of those cooking shows where you come up with something and it better not be like a burned battery fluid or something. It won't be, but... Okay. Do you need some ingredients? Or do you have everything <laughs> I, I'm with you? I'm kind of all set up here, and they're flowing out. <laughs> How long did it take you to make these? These, it, it, about 40 years. Wow. It's very they, nice. They, uh, they come up quickly or they can take forever. This is a guy, he's a handout guy and it's covered with tattoo images and the title is, I'm never alone with, with my thoughts or something. You know, this, yeah. All the stuff is swimming around. And then wow. this is, of course, New York City. You yeah. are deep. <laughs> you really are. Don't call me that. You got to be big. Artists tend to right. have deepness <laughs> in you. them, right? Thank you yep. very much. Thank you. We're going to be watching uh, him work on the fiscal cliff. Stick around about 8:30 Eastern time is when we will see the official world premiere of it. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, guys. All right. She lost her life at just 16 years old, but her death breathed life into three total strangers. And today, her parents will meet the people who got their daughter's organs break out the tissues now. Yeah. Then a stunning new site, Stairway in the Sky, a story behind this photo. Next hour. What photo? You're Here's about to photo. see it. That? We will show you later in the same voice. I want to tell you the same voice when I actually it. Coming up on Fox and Friends, you met him earlier in the show. Now his take on the fiscal cliff is almost complete. It's the artist rendition. We're checking in, coming up next. Shot of the morning for 30 years, Tom Christopher has depicted life on the streets of New York City. And today he joined us live in the studio. We asked him if he would figure out, because we've heard so much imagery down in Washington, D.C., what the fiscal cliff would look like in a painting. Tom Christopher has just wrapped things up. Here it is. Describe it for us. What we have is everything stopped by this obstacle in the middle. Buses can't get by. She's waiting for the light to change. He's waiting for a job call interview. And here you have the scariest guy in Monopoly, the pockets out rich guy. He looks like Monk's scream, I noticed as I was painting it. You got the devils of Washington, a dear John letter coming in by a swallow, split tail swallow. It just, uh, it's a joy of life painting, I guess. And, and you do a good job depicting <laughs> gridlock. I mean, this, yeah. is, this is gridlock on the street. Yeah, thank you, yeah. 
He's just waiting, smoking a cigarette and waiting for the text. We're all waiting. Uh, what about yeah. the bird? There's a letter in the bird's mouth. De dear John Letter. Yeah, that's a, si that's a symbol from a sailor. It's a tattoo symbol showing you're close to shore, a swallow coming with a blade of grass. But here's the irony. It's a Dear John letter from his girlfriend. Well, mm -hmm. it, it's still a little wet. It, uh, as as dripping. the negotiations are down in Washington, <laughs> D.C., <laughs> let's find <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no It's upbeat painting. <laughs> it is. If people would like more information about your work, uh, because you've, you've been selling these things for years, uh, where do they go on the Internet? Uh, Tom Christopher-Art, or I have a gallery up on Madison, Greg Hubert, gallery in Paris, gallery Tomanaga, Germany, All right. Very gallery good. Barbara von Stasia. Thank you. Tom Christopher-Art.com. Thank Tom, you, sir. real pleasure. pleasure. Is that paint? That's gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, back over to the Kirby couch.